I've been asked to gather some intel on our technology estate. Due to COVID, my organisation is looking to preserve cash and are looking at ways to identify waste or opportunities to optimise the estate. As part of the analysis, I've been asked to look at key manufacturers. So after logging into the IT visibility application running on Flexera 1, I can see we currently use 36 different manufacturers to supply hardware and infrastructure. Looking into the report, we can see Cisco and Dell, followed by VMware are the most prevalent. Remember, this list would normally have multiple manufacturer names. For example, in this data set, there are 11 different names normalized to Cisco systems, including four versions of Cisco Systems Inc. with different commas or full stops, Cisco, Cisco WebEx LLC, Comcast, iImport Systems Inc., WebEx Communications Inc., and some assets which didn't even include a manufacturer name in the original data. Now IT visibility has done its thing. I can see Cisco Systems supply seven different types of technology asset, which breaks down into 32 products, 71 models, and 1,794 instances. Drilling into the data, it is clear which types of assets Cisco Systems provide. Ranking them by number of instances shows, perhaps unsurprisingly, routers, hubs and switches are the most popular products. If required, I can click View Details to show me the core details of the instances, such as hostname, operating system or network information. For my report, I need to get a picture of the entire estate, so I'm going to drill into device breakdown from the main dashboard. This report shows me the different types of hardware assets in the estate and the corresponding numbers of products. It gives me insight into overlaps, which could potentially help save money on our infrastructure teams by focusing skills and processes to supporting key manufacturers or products. IT Visibility identifies any hardware asset used in your organization and matches it to Flexera's Technopedia catalog. This means I can clearly see a range of devices from compute, networking, and storage assets. Drilling into notebooks shows me the 21 products provided by Apple, Dell Technologies, HP, Lenovo, and Microsoft. It also shows me that we appear to be standardizing on latitude notebooks given the wide range of models and high number of instances, which is good considering our support teams are negotiating contracts. But looking down the list, I can see numerous different individual products and models for Lenovo ThinkPads. This isn't so good for standardization, but I'm also thankful to IT Visibility has processed the data because I know IBM would have been discovered manufacturer for a number of these assets. I also want to look at our hardware refresh cycles by investigating unsupported hardware. I know we are trying to sweat some of the assets while our migration to cloud ramps up, but when I view a report on obsolete or unsupported hardware models, I see significant risk as there are a number of servers which have been unsupported going back nearly 10 years. I can also see a number of network devices which are obsolete, which means not only is there a potential for servers to be hacked, but the supporting network gear might also be putting us at risk. Parts of the insight I've been asked to provide includes future scenario analysis. As you can see, our content engineers research manufacturer life cycles for all products in Technopedia. This means that as well as looking backwards to the current supportability of the estate, I can also see information about the products which have upcoming end of sale or end of support dates. In January, not only do I have a number of products which are becoming end of sale, these relate to a high number of network devices from Cisco Systems. So, I've shown you how IT Visibility can provide clean, consistent information about hardware and infrastructure assets, which has been enriched with category and lifecycle data. This data is now information and can be used to help inform decision-making about your hardware estate. For example, do we optimize the estate in-house or do we outsource management of the estate to a managed service provider?